Jenny Atkins, Secretary of State, <laughs> Lieutenant Governor. Put me on the spot for percentages. Come on. What I can tell you is that by this uh, upcoming deadline to register to vote, uh, our Oregon Motor Voter Program will have added 250,000 people to the rolls. I believe will be the next Secretary of State. Brad Avakian. Now looking forward to the Secretary of State's office, it's time for us to take the next step and continue not building walls like Donald Trump wants to do, but breaking them down and getting more people involved in our democracy. Just like we did with shop class, let's bring back civics education to our middle schools and high schools with a required component of labor history. Let's make sure that immigrants have got great access to the ballot by having the ballots, the voters pamphlet, and other state forms in first languages for immigrants, and to grow our economy and add jobs even more. Let's plug Oregon into this booming clean energy technology sector that we see around the world. Let's make Oregon a global leader in the fight against climate change and start promoting renewable energy in our state. Our Attorney General, our Attorney General for re-election, Ellen Rosenblum. While I am technically the Chief Law Officer of Oregon, I consider myself to be the people's Attorney General. And that's because I see my job as looking out for our most vulnerable, for our families and children, for our seniors, for our students. We also are working on police profiling. We have a great task force, we have some bills, and we're gonna make sure that they get passed so that the great work that the legislature did two years ago will now be fully implemented and we will eliminate profiling in this state for once and for all. It's kind of kind of nice being in a blue state where I just keep listing high profile electives and it just doesn't end. We also have our Oregon State Treasurer and Mayor-elect of Portland, Ted Wheeler, a real good friend of the labor movement. Ted, come on up here. Good afternoon, everybody. So there is a long line of very worthy elected officials and prospective candidates for public office standing behind me. Our next speaker, the Speaker of the House, Tina Kota. The fight is real. The fight is real in the workplace no matter where you are. And I want you to know that the folks up here, the folks in the Oregon House, in the Oregon Senate, and the woman who wants to continue to be our governor will have our backs, will have your back in the workplace. Together, this November, we need to get everybody reelected so we can continue to fight for work and families because the fight is real, the challenges are real, and we need to stand up for workers every single day. We will be with you, stay with us, we will be with you, and we will all win. We have our Majority Leader, Jenny Burdick, but she's not here, but we have her predecessor, Majority Leader, Diane Rosenbaum. Check it out. I love you back, as President Obama always says. And we gave automatic voter registration at a time when other states are making it harder to vote, Oregon is making sure that every Oregonian can vote. And just, yes, and just recently we raised the Oregon minimum wage, the first step of which just took effect in July, and that was the first time since 1989 that the Oregon legislature actually voted to raise the minimum wage. And we did that, and you did that. We promise to you that we would do two things in the legislative session. We would raise the minimum wage and we would put more money into fighting wage theft. Did we do those things? <laughs> Next year, we're going to get 
paid family leave, we're going to get pay equity, we're going to get a transportation package that has good labor provisions, good public health provisions in it. We are going to have fair scheduling for people in Oregon so people don't learn their schedules a day before and then they have to find child care and do their other work. We are going to do the right thing for Oregon. Across the country rolled back. All across the 50 states, the red tide in 2014 elected more anti-worker politicians. And I should say that in Oregon, what we did was unique. We gained to 18. It's now, it's now time to push on to 20. It's now time to add those additional seats. Jennifer Williamson, who is kicking and really being successful in, in creating more Democrats and we want more of them in the House this cycle. Jennifer Williamson. And some in this nation call the Oregon House Democrats the most progressive caucus in the United States. And we did that because of you. And we could not have done that without the support of our brothers and sisters in labor. So come on up, I want to introduce you to the team. You all know Speaker Tina Kotek. tough race out in Hillsboro. Oh, Carla Peluso in a race in Gresham. Technically we're all in races, so. Um, Barbara Smith Warner from North in Northeast Portland. <laughs> Tobias Reed, who is a current House member and will be our next state treasurer. <laughs> Kathleen Taylor, you met her as a Senate candidate, but she is in fact still ours. <laughs> Ann Leininger from Lake Oswego. <laughs> Lou Frederick, again, the Senate's trying to claim him. He'll leave us at the end of the year, but for now he's ours. <laughs> Rob Nose, maybe the largest, loudest voice as a labor activist in, the, in our caucus. <laughs> Representative Chris Gorsick from Gresham East County. Brad Witt from up near Scappoose. And Jeff Reardon from East County. This is the most progressive caucus in the United States. And because of, because of these folks, I have to bring a cheat sheet to be able to go through all of the bills that we passed. Um, because the list is long. You've heard about all of them though. Paid sick leave. Raising the minimum wage. Taking us closer to pay equity through um, through uh, uh, closing some loopholes, ban the box, retirement security, and I want to call out Tobias Reed for being the champion on that bill and getting that bill passed. Free community college for Oregon graduates, and more funding for career and technical education. I could go on, the list is very long, um, but I wanted to make sure that you met our team and that you cheer them all on, because again, we're all candidates and um, to make sure that you know that we may be the most progressive caucus in the nation, but what that does is it puts a target on our back. We cannot go back to the time when we had no paid sick leave. No paid sick leave, raising the minimum wage. We can't let them roll that back. And because of those things, we have a target on our back, each and every one of us. So I, this is the best team in the world, I think, um, and we are lucky to have them, and you are the reason that we are here. So thank you, House members. Woo!